Hi everyone, good morning. Today OnePlus One has finally released the Oxygen OS. So I am going to make this easy to follow installation guide for the benefit of all my lovely OnePlus One family. Feel free to share this video among all your friends. Um, before I start, I would request all of you to first back up all your files because this process definitely can delete all your data. And I would also recommend you to watch this video completely before starting to do anything with your device. This method is completely safe, but I would not be responsible if you break your phone. First, go to the link shown here and download the Oxygen operating system. Next, go to this link to download the ADB or Fastboot that is required for flashing ROMs to any uh, phone. Now, on this on the screen, please be careful to click on the blue download button because that's the one that works. And then finally, let us download the TWRP custom recovery. This is only for those who do not have a custom recovery installed or somebody who is looking to upgrade their TWRP. Open the ADB or fastboot zip file that we downloaded and extract all the contents that you see on the platform folder to a new folder on your computer. Copy the Oxygen OS and the TWRP file that we downloaded to the same folder as shown. Extract the Oxygen OS to a folder here. Now hold Ctrl and Shift and right click uh, to get a context menu with open command window here. Click on that to open a command window. Next, we need to go to the phone and enable developer option. Now, how do you do that? It's very easy. Go to the about phone under your settings and click on the build number six times. It will notify that you have become a developer. Go back and go into the developer option and make sure you have the advanced reboot checked. Now, hold the power button for a couple of seconds to bring up the option. Click on reboot and then choose bootloader. Now, your phone will boot into a mode that is uh, with a black screen but you will see if you look carefully you will see a fast boot icon on the screen which means that your phone is in fast boot mode now plug your phone onto your computer and the computer will recognize your phone go to the command window that we opened in our last step and type fast boot devices as you see on the screen and you should see your device recognized there. Now, do not proceed if you do not see your phone recognized here. You'll have to do this step once again and you will be able to get the fast boot recognized. The next step is to unlock your bootloader. Beware, please do not continue if you have not backed up your device because unlocking your bootloader just by putting this one command there will clean wipe your entire storage and you'll not have any of your old uh, files. So please back up your device before you even reach this stage. And if you unlocked your phone earlier, and if you are in, if you have installed uh, custom ROMs before, then you do not need to do this step, and you can skip this step. Next, we will install a custom recovery. Now, you could you do again if you have done this before. If you already have a custom recovery, you don't need to do this. And uh, if you if you have an old version of TWRP, then Please do this step because we have already downloaded the latest version of TWRP and it will only do good to you. Uh, once you do this, re uh, reboot using the command you see on the screen. Once your phone reboots, let's copy the Oxygen OS into your phone. Now uh, you can create an Oxygen OS folder on your phones and then just copy over all the content of the Oxygen OS folder that we downloaded earlier onto this new phone. Now once you do that, hold the power button for two seconds and choose reboot and then choose recovery now if you don't find the context menu under reboot that means you're not in re, uh, developer mode so you'll have to proceed you'll have to uh, do the same steps that we did in earlier and re-enable developer options and then choose reboot and the recovery once you get onto recovery you need to wipe all your phone operating system by clicking on the uh, wipe button and then click on advanced swipe and then just choose these four options that you see on the screen and swipe. This will uh, wipe all your uh, existing operating system. Once we do that, click on the home button, go back to your uh, TWRP home screen, click on install and then choose the operating system under the uh, Oxygen OS folder and swipe again to install the operating system. 
Once your installation is complete, a confirmation screen will tell you that your installation has been completed successfully. Reboot back into the system and continue with the configuration of your latest operating system. Congratulations, now you have Oxygen OS installed. Uh, I haven't personally used this operating system much, so I do not know how it is. I will create a new video to tell you how this operating system is. So until then, good luck.